Hi friends, Auntie Cuckoo here. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm bringing you guys a collective home decor haul. So I love to shop. Most of the shopping I do is window shopping and I don't necessarily buy. So I love home decor and I pick up a few pieces as I find them at thrift stores, craft stores, always on clearance. And even Target has great clearance, you guys know that. So I have a few things from a few different places and I'm just gonna share them all with you. Here we go. Let's start off with a couple of things I picked up at Holler and that's a website online that's a lot like a Dollar Tree and their prices are higher. Obviously not everything is a dollar, but I lucked out with my last purchase and I found a couple of home decor items. So the first was this little cloche and it was $6. So it's small, it's about the size of my hand, and this is what I did not know when I purchased it online, is that there's this opening at the top. Now I shared that with you all in my last um, home decor tour, and that actually makes it very convenient for dropping things in, but I was a little bummed. I thought it was a full dome, but that was $6, so keep your eye out if you are ever on hauler. I also found these, I had gone back and forth about four times and they lowered the price so I picked them up. This is a set of galvanized canisters and I just love them. So I have these over in my coffee station and this one I think has sweeteners, yep. And so this one is just about the size of my hand there. And this one has those little stir sticks in it for coffee. Great for when you have company. And that's just a little bit bigger than my hand. So the set together was $6. So I broke down and did it. Now, part of my coffee station, I'm adding galvanized items to. So this little tray I found at our thrift store. So it's just, oh, there's my, candelabra above the table there. Um, it's just one of those galvanized tin tray bowl like containers. So it's fairly big, not huge, but it's nice to put this next to my coffee maker and then put all my little things like my canisters in it. I just think it looks really cute. Now this was originally from Target and my thrift store gets items from Target all the time. So you can see it was originally $3 and it's an Easter item. That's an Easter egg from their Easter decor, but they were selling them all for 99 cents. So I picked that up and I love that addition to my coffee bar. So a few thrifted items and then a couple of things from Target, a couple of things from Hobby Lobby and a couple of things from Michaels. So I shared these also in my recent home tour and they're just a little, I think, sugar and creamer. They were each a dollar at a local thrift store. This one didn't have a lid, but I just think they're cute and I just love them. So, this is gonna take some explaining. This is another thrift find. Um, many of you guys know I recently participated in the $5 Goodwill Challenge. And so I was out at Goodwills, I was looking around, and I did find a few things. So, don't be afraid. So I found this at a local thrift shop. Now, it's domed, and it's a clock. I don't think it works. I'm not interested in the bottom at all. I mean, it's fine, but I was thinking of either breaking the clock off and then just using it as a cloche, or painting this, and if, Breaking it off doesn't really work out. I really just wanted the dome. And that was $3. And so when I saw this, I knew I could get like a base from Michaels that was wood and stain it, or I could use a little potted planter, what is this called, base? And so I think that that would make a really cute, Cloche, so I'll have to show you guys that when I get it all finished, but I was excited about it and it was only three dollars. The back of this actually says decorative only does not work. So that was nice of them to put that on there. 
This is another item I found at a thrift shop and it's this hobnail style pale pink large jar. It's quite tall. Now when I saw it, I thought, oh, I could spray paint that white and it would look a lot like milk glass. It was funny, I was out at a grocery store and they actually had these in the floral section as vases you could buy and they were like nine, ten dollars and this was three. So I picked that up. I'll probably do some kind of paint job on it. There's gonna be a few hard things to pick up coming here very soon. This is something you guys saw in my Patriotic Home Decor tour. I wanna to say haul, sorry, it's late at night. It's almost midnight. It's just this nice little glass jar. Now this was $3 and I picked this up at a local thrift store. They had a sale that day and this was originally six. And so any home decor item that day was 50% off. So I got it for three and I just have some Laffy Taffy in there from, not Laffy Taffy, just regular saltwater taffy from the Dollar Tree. Let me move a couple things around here. So this is another find that I love from a local thrift store. Now, as you can see, it's kind of cream colored there and then very, very white. So I'm gonna just sand it up and touch it up so it's all somewhat the same color, but it's just a cute little birdhouse on a pedestal. It is so tall. And this was also on sale. So this was originally $10, I got it for five. So I don't know, I, I love stuff like this. I might paint the roof black because I have a lot of black accents in my home. Scoot that way over. It's a lot of glass here, guys. I kind of went cloche crazy. Okay, this is another thrift store find. And this is another item that I've already put to use. It's this very large glass jar. Now I just bought rice. I've never in my life had rice go bad and our rice went bad, so I went and bought a huge brand new bag and I needed a place to store half of it. So I just have rice in there. Obviously I washed it out. Um, it was, I did save the little tag so I didn't forget. It was originally $8. I gotta set it down, it's super heavy. It was $8 and I got that one for four. So I've had some pretty good glass finds, which is rare at a thrift store. They're normally like nicked or there's something wrong with them. All right, now that's everything that I have picked up at thrift store. And now I'm gonna show you guys just a few things from Michaels. Now I just did a shop with me to Michaels and they're clearancing out quite a bit. And it's stuff that they have labeled as garden or summer. Like this is just Ashland fashion glass, but they have this clearance out currently at 70% off. And I eyeballed this before it was even on sale. So it has this tin lid with some holes in it. And it's just a really cute patterned glass jar in this metal holder with two little handles. And I just think it looks really cute and quaint and old and you could stick some sunflowers or something in that even for fall you could just put some fall flowers maybe fill it with pumpkins i didn't even check oh yes i think this lid will come off so i actually got this for two dollars and change it's 70 percent off right now at my store and this is regularly 9.99 in the u.s and then it needed a buddy I bought the little miniature one. So I just think it's so cute. This one originally was $7.99, so it was also $2 and change. And so I thought together, those were just adorable. And then something else they were clearancing out that I picked up was this little galvanized, wire basket combo. So I have a shelf that's really high and kind of awkward to decorate and I need little things like this. It did come with purple and blue flowers, but those are not my colors and I pulled them out and used them in something else. So this was originally $12.99 US 
and it's nice and small. I brought it home and I tried it on that shelf and it works out just right. I'm not sure what I'm going to fill it with. It does have the styrofoam in it already, so maybe succulents, maybe some flowers. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna move things around real quick here. Move you guys around. All right, so now let me do Target. Now guys, I saw this last year on clearance because they're clearancing out all their summer items just like they did last year. And I wanted it and I thought about it too much and I left it behind and I have thought about it at least a handful of times this year. And they clearanced it out again. So I scored and I did not hesitate. I picked it right up. It's this really big domed cloche and it has the nice, um, twine style handle. I don't know if I'm going to keep it that long because that's quite long and I have boys so you can only imagine. But it's a really large glass dome and this is a nice wood base. You could paint it or whatever you wanted. It was originally $24.99. I picked it up for $7 and change and I remember it being $7 last year and I I'm so like thrifty and cheap that I just can't, I couldn't handle it. But this year I thought of it all year. All right, two other things that I picked up and they're the exact same thing. So I'm just gonna show you one are these really cool non glass lanterns. And this is, you know, a threshold item. It's considered an outdoor lantern. It was originally $12.99. I picked it up for $388 and I think these work on a timer because they do have a little switch under here as you can see and I have a place specifically for these and they work perfectly. I just tried them before I turned on the camera. So I was excited to find two of these. They do have a handle. I won't be using it. But I do like this wood tone and it goes well with burlap and twine. So I'm finding myself picking up more and more things that look like that. And now on to, I just wanna make sure I don't forget anything, Hobby Lobby. So I was just there. I just walked in the door from there. They have some of their patriotic stuff left and it's at 66% off and there was a couple things that I had seen that I really wanted and they still had a few so I'm sharing with you guys. So this first one is just a stars and stripes forever and that's just a little sign. It has the stars on the sides. It's probably like a eight inch square. It was originally $7.99 so I got it for two dollars and change and I thought that was pretty cute. And this is something that I eyeballed when they first put out their patriotic decor and I did that shop with me. Hold on just a second. I really wanted this, you guys. I just love it. So as you can see, it's huge. It's probably 24 inches long by maybe 12 inches here on the sides and it does have a wire hanger. It's just a really cool sign and I had wanted this and I know where I'll use it next year. And it was originally $19.99 and it was 66% off and I paid $6 and change. So I was really, really happy about this. And they had a ton, I think because it's so big, not many people can commit to buying seasonal items that are that large. And then this was on sale and they had quite a few. I already own it, but I wanted to share with you guys in case you're interested. So I had gotten this last year on clearance and it's just a really cute American flag with an easel back piece of decor that you can put anywhere in your home and these are originally $9.99 and they're 66% off and they seriously, my store had about 25. So if you're interested, head to Hobby Lobby. And then one more thing from Hobby Lobby and it is not seasonal, 
but it was considered spring. So it was also on 66% off. It's originally $5.99. I paid around $2 for it and I just thought it was such a cute little vase, I guess. So a lot of times my daughter will be given one flower for different things at school and we never really have a place to put one flower like a bud vase, but I thought this would do really nicely. It's super cute and small. So that's my haul for you guys. I just wanted to bring you all my treasures and hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing what I'm picking up. I hope you guys are heading out to your store and looking for clearance because this is a great time of year to do that. And I'll see you guys soon in the next video.